Hey guys, I have some awesome news. If you want to win a free Robux gift card, make sure that you use the star code MATRIX whenever you buy Robux. I'll be giving out gift cards on literally every video, and if you want more than just one, go onto Twitter and tweet at me proof that you've used my star code for bonus gift cards. Be sure as well to leave a like and subscribe, and now, let's get on into the video. Hey everyone, welcome to another video today on the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome to some Vehicle Legends. This is a bit of a different game that we didn't really play a lot of on the channel recently, but I can't help but notice in the comment section so many people have been asking me to play this game, and it's been so requested at this point that I feel like I kinda have to, I kinda owe it to you guys to do this video. So today we're gonna check out Vehicle Legends. This is actually a pretty popular game. Somehow I didn't really even know that much about it other than the first impressions video that we did I think about a month ago um but this game here okay what do I know about this game honestly not much the only thing that seemed really interesting to me is now they have helicopters and uh, I really like games that have different kinds of things and make things feel a little bit more unique and this is just pretty cool but if we look at the weekly update list here you can see first of all that the game is getting updates very very regularly which is awesome news but we've got a new helicopter dealership two new helicopters uh, they've got some promotional content here, rear wheel drivetrains now drift better, yada yada yada, and a bunch of fixes. This looks really, really awesome, guys. So, I think a lot of you guys have been recommending that I play this because this is one of those games that's very, very well ported uh, to mobile, and I think majority of the players of this game are playing, oh my god, look at this, are playing mobile. Dude, this guy's got a helicopter, this looks so sick. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, this is actually really nice looking. I hope that when we get it, it's gonna look pretty cool as well, but I don't I don't know if we'll be able to buy it in today's video because I only have 58,000. Um, we might just be able to buy coins. I'm not really sure how that works. We might just be able to buy some cash, but welcome back everybody. This is going to be an interesting video. Last time I played it, I have to be honest with you guys, I was a little bit underwhelmed. Um, when I played it, I, I felt like it was pretty cool, but not completely perfect. Uh, hold on, do we have sound? Oh no, okay, let's put on a little bit of sound here. And uh, yeah, let's explore. Last time we played it, we knew that there was racing. Um, I think we could change our camera perspectives. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Look at this interior. Holy crud. Um, but I think the main reason why people really enjoy this game has to be one, because it's very smooth. I will say this game feels really, really smooth and easy to run. And two, just by looking at the general layout of the game, I have a feeling it's probably a majority like mobile player base. I don't really see this game being very popular on PC just because, oh, for that, for example. But it looks like it would run really, really well on, uh, on your phone. So if you want to try this game out, I'll leave a link down below, but I think we found ourselves the helicopter dealership. Let's take a look at this. Okay, get helicopters at the desk. Okay, so we're gonna walk up to the desk and there is two different types. As we can see here, this looks like a general kind of transport, maybe like a news reporting helicopter. And then this one here looks a lot more serious, a lot more like military. This looks pretty cool. Um, I think the difference is probably only gonna be like how fast they are, but yeah, very expensive. 350K for the one and then 800K for the other one. But let's do some driving around. Let's see what's changed in Vehicle Legends. I know that they've done a lot of updates. I'm not very familiar with the team behind the game or, or any of the developers or anything like that, but this game has like 4,000 players, which is close to Driving Simulator, which uh, I gotta be honest with you, I find very hard to believe because Driving Simulator is a lot more finished than this game is, just, just generally looking at it. But I will say it's pretty cool that there is all of these different, um, I guess, races everywhere. They look really, really nice. We have a mountain pass race. I didn't even know... I didn't even know there was mountains. Wait a second, where are the mountains in this map? Okay, so we're gonna explore. I, I, I really don't know this map at all. And judging by like the UI, I don't think that there's like a map that we can take a look at. But overall, I will say that this game runs super, super smooth and the graphics aren't overly intense, which does make it a lot easier for people to enjoy. Um, overall, this is kind of cool. I mean, the cars drive really, really easily, you can see here, and it's very forgiving because there's nothing around you. So if you don't stay on the road, it doesn't really matter. You just drive on the grass and it doesn't really make any difference. I don't know, you guys let me know. I mean, you guys clearly wanted this game. I saw so many comments all day, every day on all my videos to play this game. So I was like, okay, somebody clearly wants me to play this. Let's go ahead and play it. It looks all right. Um, I don't know, I, I just, it doesn't feel finished to me. and I. Feel 
feel like I feel like right now with racing games there is a lot of very finished ones to play especially I really want to play more midnight racing you guys have been suggesting that like crazy but yeah I mean okay we got a garage oh wait no that's a game pass um there's Twitter codes as well you guys can follow this guy here he will uh, be hooking you up with codes there's a bunch of settings there's PvP mode I'm not sure what the purpose of that is I'm not really sure why you would even want PvP mode because if that just means cars are gonna hit each other why would you have that turned on the UI as you can see is very good for like people who are on mobile I feel like it's ported so that it's a lot easier for mobile players I don't know I just feel like this whole game is like a mobile game but now I'm playing it on my computer either way I will say that the money is very easy to get as we've been driving for the last maybe three minutes now I've already gained like 10,000 or something so so it does seem like it's a very easy game to grind out and probably a very easy game to get a lot of money in which you know for some people is a good thing some other people they rather a more hardcore experience but clearly this game knows what they're doing if they have like 4,000 people playing it right now I did notice on the other side of this highway that there is a, a city or something over there so we're gonna try to get over there and I'm just gonna kind of cheat my way because I have no idea where I'm going but yeah here we go let's go check out this big city over here look at all these skyscrapers and everything um, but yeah overall I think the thing I just can't get over with this game is how much like flat unused surfaces there are I mean it just feels really really unfinished um, but as we go over here this does look Oh my god, how does this game have 4,000 people playing it? I I'm really not trying to rip on it or anything, but there are some games that have been made. Oh wait, this is a Discovery. Okay, that's cool. We just got $10,000 for discovering this area. That's pretty cool. I don't know, it's probably just me, and I really don't want to sound like I don't like this game. I see the potential here. I really, I really want to give them some good faith in making this thing look great, but right now, oh my god. Holy, okay, can you guys hear that? Hopefully not. I'm gonna turn that down. Oh my god. Dude, okay. Okay, in that tunnel, it is insanely loud. Wow. Anyways, I think the one thing that sets this game apart very obviously is just the quality of models. You can see here that the car models are really, really detailed, all the way down to like the brake discs and brake calipers being 3D, and that's obviously a really nice touch. Um, so cars look really, really good. The road, the map is very unfinished, so I guess you can't really judge it. But I think we played this game a few times, like a long time ago, and it really, in terms of map quality, hasn't really improved all that much. And as far as my own personal experience, I feel like map development is probably the most straightforward thing. So it's kind of surprising to me that it's not been uh, more addressed than this. But hey, you know what? Maybe they have some big plans, or maybe, maybe they're doing things we don't even know yet, but... This is kind of cool. I like that you go into different areas and you get like a reward for it. And that really isn't something that a lot of games have, but some of them do. So it's it's pretty cool. I think you have to like, wait, do I have to stop? Yeah, okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, I also noticed there's a lot of role playing potential in this game because if we jump out of our car and run over here, there's a lot of like little restaurants and you can kind of play around in here. But I don't know, I've played like, okay, you guys know Midnight Racing Tokyo, right? I just did a video on it recently. I played that and you get the exact same vibe but like in a way 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 higher level of like quality scale so to see that game only have like 400 players and they both kind of do the same thing right like you drive around uh, and you role play and then that's pretty much what you do in both of these games but to see this game have 10 times the player count of midnight racing with how much I've seen midnight racing grow as a game it's 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 just a little weird to me but you guys really wanted to see this I, I don't uh, to be honest with you guys I don't really know what you wanted to see me do in this so I I don't really know what I'm gonna title this video probably just checking up on the game or something like that because I, I don't I, I don't know what to do I mean we could do some races but I mean, we, we, we basically explored the whole map already, so the roads are going to be, the races are going to be really straightforward on these roads. I mean, look, half of them are just straight like this, so you just kind of, you just kind of do this, and whoever has the fastest car wins, so, yeah, I mean, look at it, this, this is literally just one long road, and this isn't even considered a highway, because uh, as you can see here, there's actual highways, so this is like, we've got some supermarkets, some unfinished buildings, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's the game you guys really wanted me to do. I'll be honest with you guys I don't really know what to do in it Okay, so I'm pretty sure you can buy houses as well or if you can't buy them You can at least like just okay. Yeah, you can just like walk inside of them and uh, And this way you can kind of do like your little like home role plays and stuff like that But you can do the same thing in ultimate driving and I feel like ultimate driving has actual systems in place Like renting homes and all of that that make it feel a lot more real This is like I feel like this game has taken things that have made other games unique 
technique and put it all together in a very simple formula. So it's a lot like ultimate driving in the sense of like your miles give you money and you kind of just drive endlessly, but yet they have races that kind of resemble like the same system as vehicle simulator. And then at the same time, they have helicopters like vehicle simulator. But at the same time as that, it's a lot more easier and the map is a lot less worked on. I, I just, I don't know how this game has four upwards of 4,000 players on it. I mean, I know this video is coming out as really negative. I really, really don't want it to be, but when it comes to making these videos, you guys know me, I really do try to be honest and try not to have a biased opinion, but yeah, I mean, even if we, even if we bought a helicopter, what would we really be doing anyways? Just kind of riding it, I guess, and flying and, and, and again, like I said, I feel like we've kind of explored every crevice and corner of this map now, so there's not really much left for us to see, and even if, like, we went ahead and we did, like, a whole bunch of, uh, races, I feel like it's just gonna be roads like this. I will say, that was pretty nice. That drift felt really, really good. Let me, let me try that again. That drift felt really, really good. Hold on a second. Let's find another road here. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's pretty sweet, I guess. But yeah, guys, I'm sorry this video wasn't huge and there wasn't a ton of stuff for us to do I just I'm not really sure what it is that you guys would like me to do with this wait there's a big building over here what is this discovery zone okay we've got the farm all right can we go inside of this farm let me take a look here oh no, we can't. Okay. But for all the people who asked me to play this game, I, I ask you back the question of why. What was it about this game that you guys really, really enjoy? I just want to know what it is about this game that is attracting such a large community. If you guys know, let me know as well, because maybe I'm just missing something. Maybe there's something about it that sets it apart that I'm just not seeing right now. I, I totally could understand that if that's the case. Let's finish this video up by taking a look at the car inventory. Let's see how many cars this game has. I know that the models are really, really exceptional. Um, okay. So, we have a lot of cars that are very well detailed. Maybe that's why? Maybe because there's so many nice cars? I'm not really sure. But guys, this is Vehicle Legends. Uh, the game right now is still in very early development. You guys can see that very clearly. Um, but I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys did, leave a like. And if you guys want to see more, let me know what it is you guys would like to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in the next Roblox video. Take care, everybody.